Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lena and today I'm going to talk about whether or not it would be useful to use the Dave Ramsey method to eliminate your consumer debt. If you are curious about what the Dave Ramsey method is all about and if it could benefit you, keep watching. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Lena. On this channel, I like to talk about things about money and how to make your life around the house a little bit simpler. So your first question might be, what is it? What is the Dave Ramsey method and what does it entail? So the basic idea of the Dave Ramsey method is that you use the debt snowball where you pay off your debt with the smallest total first and this helps you psychologically as you're paying off your debt and really motivates you to get the debt over with quickly. Another big component of his method is being gazelle intense. So this means you're eating rice and beans, beans and rice as he likes to say, to pay off your debt as soon as possible. You're cutting all possible expenses that you don't need. You're selling your bed frame. You're doing whatever it takes to get out of debt as quickly as possible. Another facet of his method is also cash categories. So he often recommends that people take out large quantities of cash and then keep them in envelopes. And then throughout the month as they spend those, the cash goes away. Then you know exactly when you're out of money in that spending category because there is no more cash. I do not agree with all of Dave Ramsey's philosophies about everything in life. And you don't have to either to embrace his debt payoff method. And I think this is something that people really struggle with when they're deciding how they're gonna pay off their debt. They're like, Dave Ramsey's too extreme. I don't agree with some of the things that he suggests later in his 10 baby steps, or I think that one idea is silly or whatever it is. But that doesn't necessarily have to stop you from using his methods in the beginning of your financial freedom journey when you are paying off your consumer debt. So some of my main objections uh, that you might also have are I don't necessarily agree with his long-term plans. After you pay off your debt, I feel like the plan gets a little bit more unclear. And then I feel like the investing strategy is not necessarily the best and not as well thought out as some other people's. Another thing I kind of disagree with is that one size fits all. Dave Ramsey has a very cookie cutter method and everybody do this. Everybody do this the exact same way as though everyone is the same and that everything will work equally for everyone. The other problem that I sometimes have is that Dave has a very my way or the highway mentality and this is the way it is. Accept it and get over with it. This kind of goes against my personality, but we can't discredit him because he has helped so many people, including ourselves, get out of debt and have more financial freedom in our lives. The first main reason that I think that you should use Dave Ramsey's beginning debt payoff methods is that you need to be mad enough to pay off your debt. If you are not mad enough at your debt, you are not going to get rid of it. And Dave Ramsey is awesome at making you get mad at your debt, mad enough to do something about it, mad enough to get rid of it, and mad enough to bust it out. So this is kind of the flip side of one of my negatives, the my way or the highway mentality that he has. Yes, that's true. But that same attitude that is saying my way or the highway is also saying you really should get rid of your debt right now and you really should do it as fast as possible. And that gets you riled up so that you are willing to actually take the steps necessary to make it happen. So I needed to get mad enough to pay off debt too. We used to have a four door Corolla. It was old. We would had it for a long time. It was one of my husband's first cars. We were just making it work for as long as possible. Then we went camping and we filled up our trunk with all the things and the car could not take all the weight and it started rubbing off the wheels onto the wheel wells and we could smell the rubber burning. And that was just my breaking point. I said, we need a new car and I don't care how it happens and we must buy one. So we went to a car place, we got a car loan and bought a Subaru, which we would later discover was going to need so much repair, it was just not worth it at all. But now we had this debt, we had this car loan, 
and we made our payments on time until I got so mad about the fact that we still had this car loan and how much money it was costing us every single month that we could have been investing. It was just making me so mad. But I had to get to the place of being very, very mad about the fact that we owed more money on the car than it was worth before I did anything about it. Dave Ramsey will help you get mad at your debt so that you can get rid of it and have a better quality of life. My next reason that I think that you should use Dave Ramsey's debt payoff methods is that the intense debt payoff makes it more exciting. So at Ramsey Solutions, they love to talk about gazelle intense. So they talk about eating rice and beans, they talk about slashing your food budget, they talk about selling things that you don't need to help pay off your debt, and people have sold off so many crazy things if you watch the stories and it's, it's, it's exciting. So there's nothing fun about debt and there's nothing really exciting, but when you see your debt really going away and you see yourself actually making real progress, it is so exciting. And I think you need to be a little bit intense for that to happen. If you aren't really seeing progress, you are going to mentally want to give up. This is the same psychological concept behind the debt snowball. You pay off that first $500 debt on your credit card or whatever, and you are having a party because you are so excited that you accomplished something very tangible and very important to you. You start to see something happen and you start to believe that you could actually get out of debt. And that is part of the magic of Dave's method. Another perk of Dave's methods is that it empowers you for later projects. So my friends worked incredibly hard last year, finished paying off their student loan debt last year, and they ended up putting $30,000 towards their student loan last year alone. If you do what it takes to pay off $30,000 of loan in one year, imagine what you'll be empowered to do later. If you have a harebrained idea, a crazy plan or something, but you know that you've already paid off so much debt, you are empowered to do the next thing. You know now that you can do crazy big plans and accomplish crazy big goals. So in a way, paying off your debt in this way can really accelerate the other things in your life because you can see, I can change this, I can do something about this, and I have worked really hard in the past and accomplished huge things. So yes, you can use other methods to pay off your debt and they can work, but I definitely would recommend if you want to bust out your debt as quickly as possible. A lot of the principles that Dave Ramsey teaches are very useful for accomplishing that very specific goal. This is his forte. His forte is helping people pay off debt. He has helped so many people pay off debt and helped so many people transform their lives for the better. And I don't think we could discount all of that work for a few items that we don't agree with or later on the road or personality differences. So if you're wondering, what are my next steps? I think that I'm ready to commit to this and I need to know more and I need to know what I'm supposed to do next. Go to Goodwill, get a $1.50 copy of the Total Money Makeover or order it on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below for that too. Read that or get the audiobook if you don't like reading books. Um, and get started on your journey. And just remember, you don't have to agree with everything for this to be a super useful method for you. I do believe that it can really be worth it to buy in 100% to Dave Ramsey's uh, debt payoff methods. And then after you pay off your debt and you're kind of learning more about the financial world and all that works, maybe you will pick another path or you'll bring some influences from different places. But at the beginning, he really can help you get set up. Get some debt payoff inspiration while you're on Facebook or Instagram by liking and subscribing to their pages. And you can also get suggested for some other great Instagram pages about paying off debt or uh, financial information and stuff like that when you subscribe to those pages. It's a great way to keep getting inspired by their debt payoff stories and watching other people and seeing what obstacles they overcame to pay off their debt. It's just so cool. I. I still love watching those on Instagram. Let me know down in the comments 
What was your debt payoff journey? Have you started it? Have you finished? Did you need to get mad too before you started paying off your debt? Let me know. Help more people see this video by hitting the like button so that YouTube knows that it's a keeper. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any uploads and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye for now.